In this video, we're going to be talking about adding a custom domain to your Groove account. Hi guys, my name is Rob Verzara from CathyandRob.com and this is our next video in the Groove series, Getting Started with Groove. In this video, we're going to talk about adding a custom domain to your Groove account, all right? Be really quick and simple, so let's get started. All right, before we get started, we're going to need a couple things. First thing we're going to need is a domain name. Now, you can get this through pretty much anywhere. We recommend Namecheap. Um, if you go to kathyandrobcom slash Namecheap, it'll actually use our affiliate link. You'll get a little bit of a discount as well. Um, so go ahead. We encourage you guys to, to get your domains through there. Um, once you do that, we're going to have to update a couple settings in there. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do that. We're going to be able to see what's going on with those settings. Um, so I would recommend open up another tab quick and go to whatsmydns.net. Um, and just have this open because we're gonna need this in, in a little while, okay? All right, so after we have these things, um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pop over to Groove. Okay, so we're gonna go into Groove, we're gonna go ahead and log in, and you're gonna be at your dashboard right here. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go up to the right, we're gonna click our little avatar, we're gonna go to My Account, we're gonna go over here to Domains, and we're gonna go on Custom Domains, and we're gonna click on Manage. Okay, it's going to either, if you have some already, it's going to put them in there. If not, it's just, this is, this is just going to be blank. It'll have back and add a domain. Um, so in this case right here, for this example, we have a domain called freegroove.co. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use that as the custom, as one of the custom domains here on Groove. So we're going to go ahead and move it over. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our Namecheap account and we're going to go ahead and bring up that domain and we're going to click on manage. Okay, we're going to scroll down here to where it says name servers. We're going to go ahead and drop that down and we're going to click on custom DNS. Okay. All right. So we're going to need to add these two items here. So let's go back into Groove now and we're going to go ahead and get this information. So we're going to pop back into Groove. We're going to go ahead and say add domain and it's going to say select domain type. We want a full domain subdomain setup recommended. We want this one right here. So we're going to click on next. It's going to say, okay, what domain do we, would we like to add? We're going to add freegroove.co. Okay, click on next. Now it's gonna say, we're gonna go ahead and update the DNS records. So it says, okay, we need to add these two records right here into our DNS, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and copy this first one, click on that icon. We're gonna come back over to our Namecheap tab and on name server one, we're gonna go ahead and just paste that in there. We're gonna come back over to Groove. We're gonna click on that second one. We're gonna come back into the domain, click on two, we're gonna paste that back in there. And then we're gonna hit this little check mark right there. Okay, all right, so this went ahead and took effect, so we're good. So, and you can see up here it says DNS may take up to 40 hours to take effect. Now, what I've noticed is that if it's a .com, it'll usually take about five minutes or so. Um, some of the other ones, like a .co, uh, is probably gonna take about an hour or so. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go back over to Groove. Okay, so we're gonna, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and click on Next. And then instead of validate DNS records, we're just gonna say, I'll do this later. And we're gonna check to see when they're done. Okay, and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So we're gonna click on it, do this later, and then complete process. Okay, so right here it says click to verify. And you could check real quick and click this. Um, chances are it's not gonna be done quick, but you never know. So go ahead and click it, see if it goes good to go. Um, if not, this is what you can do. We can come over here to whatsmydns.net. We can go ahead and put in our domain, in this case, freegroove.co. I'm going to go to um, select NS for NS records, and I'm going to go ahead and click on search. And you can see pretty quickly, um, I just added this a little while ago, and they're already pretty much all propagated. Um, if I go ahead and click on search, see what happens, and you can see they're pretty much all filled in here. Okay, so what you want to do is keep doing this until you see the new domain entries all the way in there. Like I said, it could take anywhere from five minutes to anywhere up to 24 hours. Normally, it doesn't really take that long. Um, but once this is done, then we'll, then we'll be able to go back over into Groove and get and, um, and finish up, okay? So back over to Groove. I'm gonna say click to verify. And it says, make sure that these are, the, these are the records you have. Click on validate DNS records. And bam, successfully verified. Okay, so once we have that, we're pretty much good to go. Now what we can do is we can use that domain and add it to any one of the applications we want, whether it be Groove Pages, Groove Cell, Groove Member, Groove Blog, or Groove Cart. And we'll show you how to do that in some of the next videos. One last thing I want to talk about too is why is it important to have a custom domain? All right, so let's talk real quick on why it's important to have a custom domain in the online space these days, right? It's really three simple reasons, branding, trust, and discoverability. 
So for branding, the biggest benefit for using a custom domain is that it really helps promote your brand, right? People want to see you. In the trust, using a custom domain that's clearly connected to your business can totally encourage your customers who trust your brand, and in turn, they're going to go ahead and click that link without hesitation. And finally, discoverability. Using a custom domain really helps improve that, that SEO, which is what you want. You want people to find you, right? So really quick, those are the three quick reasons, branding, trust, discoverability. All right, well, I hope that quick explanation helped you guys out a lot. And listen, if you found value in this video and you wanna see more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.